haven't seen Georgie around for a while, but saw his gig merchant here today, the bloke that writes his scripts for him, young Mick Hackett. Sturgeon Moon about to come up. Moves in, here's the favourite about to come up, Unbridled Passion. And we'll be set to go in race three out of Royal Tom Ingley. 5,000 up for grabs here, fashions on the field. Mammoth prizes. Rose Hill Golden Slipper Day don't uh, have that much prize money for fashions on the field. The starter's ready. Says bye-bye and they've jumped as one hot ranger came out, maybe got the uh, head in front here. Up on the outside was Unbridled Passion, Low Argyle Scoot, now we're into second, Unbridled Passion third and Sturgeon Moon was last of all. They roll down the side of the track here, now past Cook's Corner here, and uh, Hot Ring of the leader here, leads out a length and a quarter now over Argyle Scoot. Unbridled Passion patiently ridden, sitting up on the outside of Argyle Scoot, and Sturgeon Moon was last of all. They run past the 750 metre mark now, and Hot Ring of the pilot. Unbridled Passion going up to give it a steer now, a length and a half further back, then came uh, Sturgeon Moon, the outside, and Argyle Scoot, the inside. They run towards the 450 metre mark now, and Hot Ring of the leader here, uh, Unbridled Passion the outside, uh, Argyle Scoot starting to get off the fence here and push around the outside and that's going to push Sturgeon Moot deep on the track. Coming up towards the home turn, in fact they've turned the corner here and Unbridled Passion took the lead, Argyle Scoot's out wide, well, further out that game Sturgeon Moot but Unbridled Passion looks to be cruising down by the 100 metre mark, Argyle Scoot quickly moving up to it, Argyle Scoot and Unbridled Passion, they go together, Unbridled Passion, Argyle Scoot. Argyle Scoot beat Unbridled Passion. Six lengths further back came Sturgeon Moon and Hot Ranger was last of all. Well, they, they had a nice little duel all the way down the running and Argyle Scoot, who'd had a cosy run parked in behind them, goes home a little bit too well and will score reasonably easy in the finish. Argyle Scoot. Prepared by Pete Stanley at Wellington. Raced by Mrs D.M. Byrne, M.S. Sharp. And ridden by young Michael Johnson, a winning double of that young fellow. Seven-year-old gelding by Moy Sater at a Moonlight Bell. Just one second, mate, I'll get a right and stick. One, four, three, two. A long neck by one and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Long neck by six and a quarter. Yep. 109.55. Beautiful. So there we go. Argyle Scoot, the winner here. As I said, trained by Pete Stanley. For Sonia Sharp and DM Byrne. Seven year old by My Seder out of Moonlight Bell. And ridden an absolute peach by young Michael Johnson. Second goes to four, Unbridled Passion, every conceivable chance, Unbridled Passion. Ridden by Ricky Blewett, owned by Terry Riley, RJ Young, WR Doolan, Boynton and C. Borthers. Trained at Dubbo by Brian Young and ridden by Ricky Blewett. And third goes to three, which is hot, uh, sorry, it was Sturgeon Moon. Five-year-old Brown Mare by Moshe out of beautiful fancy. Trained by Georgie Wright Jr. It's owned by I.L. Logan and ridden by Will Stanley. A long neck the margin, one a long neck by six and a quarter in 109.55. Long neck, six and a quarter, 109.55. As the winner returns to scale, and he's as happy as a carpet snake in a foul house. Have a look at the smile on this young bloke. To race four on the...